G'day everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad. Well in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a snapper rig, which is perfect when fishing in Port Phillip Bay. Now the good news is, it's very simple, it's very easy to learn, it's very low cost, and it's very, very effective when you're out there in Port Phillip Bay targeting snapper. Now I think this is one of the absolute best ways to present a full silver whiting or a full pilchard, which is probably your go-to staple bait choice when fishing in Port Phillip Bay. So only a very small amount of materials that you'll need. I've got some 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. I've got two size 5.0 circle hooks there. You'll also need a UV Lumo bead, either a size one or a size two ball sinker. Um, you'll also need a barrel swivel with at least a hundred pound breaking strain and just a pair of scissors to help put that together. So the rig putting it together is very, very simple. So what we're gonna do is grab your fluorocarbon leader and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a full arm spans worth. We'll grab your scissors, trim that away, okay? Now that you've got your full length there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your first 5.0 circle hook, okay? And we're gonna tie that by using a uni knot. So just thread that through the eye of the hook, okay? And what you do is you're gonna create like a V shape, okay? And that V will then turn into a circle, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap that tag end through six times. So one, two, three, four, five and six okay at this point just lubricate the line just so it doesn't burn when you tighten it and then grab that end and just tighten that up and that's gonna cinch into place perfectly so what we do is grab your scissors trim away that tag just leave a little bit of access there you don't need to go right right to the very end okay what you do at this point then is Go to the other end of that fluorocarbon leader line, okay? Grab your other size 5.0 circle hook. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna thread that through and that's gonna run all the way down. Okay, so at this point, all you need to do is make a little bit of a judgment call, okay? So if you can imagine, you have got a full silver whiting or a full pilchard, so you just need to adjust this hook to what you think is the right length, and to me, a length about that size is kind of perfect because I kind of picture that's going to be the front end of the bait, that's going to be the second end of the bait, and then obviously you're going to have a couple of half hitch knots at the end to put that together. So once you kind of work out the length, all you've got to do is basically turn it like that, and you're going to bend this line down, and you're going to start wrapping that around until you reach the top end point of the hook. And usually that'll be anywhere from about 15 to about 20 wraps. So wrap that all the way around, Okay, you can see now that's in line with the point of the hook. So what you wanna do is just hold that tight, okay, grab the end of that leader and thread that through the back in the eye of the hook there. Okay, thread that all the way through. And at this point, what you can do is really tighten that and that will really secure and lock into place. What you're left now is basically that, which as you can see, it's gonna be absolutely perfect when rigging up a full silver whiting or a pilchard. At this point, I grab my UV Lumo bead and I just thread that through, okay? And I find that that's just nice to have that little bit of attractant because obviously these things do have UV glow. I also find that it's got that really soft material so that way you're not putting any pressure on the eye of the hook. At this point, you make a judgment call on whether you wanna use a size one or a size two ball sinker. You can even go unweighted if it's a really, really calm day. I generally go with one that's like that, okay? And then all we're gonna do is just thread that on. And at this point, your rig is looking like that, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, the only thing that we do to finish this off is we grab the 100 pound barrel swivel. And like we did at the start, we are just gonna attach this using a uni knot. So thread it through one of the eyes. Okay, again, what we're gonna do is create that V shape, turn that into a circle, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap that tag end through six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just lubricate and then just tighten, okay? And that cinches into place absolutely perfectly. Grab your scissors, again, trim away that tag, leave a little bit again, just so that way you've got a little bit of give on that line. 
that's it, we are done. So if we look at our rig, what we do have is a 100 pound barrel swivel, which is tied by a uni knot. Then you've got this full arm span of fluorocarbon leader, which is 40 pound. And then at the end of that, you have your size one ball sinker, a UV Lumo bead. Then you've got your double set of 5.0 hooks there on a snelled rig which is gonna be an absolutely perfect way of presenting a full pilchard or a full silver whiting. And we've got some videos on our channel and in our members area on how to rig those correctly. Anyway guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this fishing tip on how to create a perfect snapper rig when fishing in Port Phillip Bay. If you enjoy the content, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to go and check out our members area, which is www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash member, which has a lot of technical fishing workshops and helpful tips like this. And I hope to see you guys out on Port Phillip Bay catching a few snapper really soon. Cheers, guys.